All right, I'm going to try Peter Thomas Roth. This is the temporary eye tightener. I um, I bought this the other day because Marlene Fab and Glam had sent me a video of a TikTok of a woman in her 50s who had horrible, horrible eye bags. I mean, horrible eye bags. Now, granted, you know, I don't have huge, huge eye bags. I do have eye bags, but not huge. And she did one side, and I was like, it was amazing to me, the difference. So I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, part of my nails, they're a mess. But this is Peter Thomas Roth Instant Eye Fix. What you're supposed to do, you can use a brush. They do recommend a brush, but I'm going to just put a little bit on my fingers, and then I'm going to tap it in and go up and tap it in and go up and then you you're supposed to then let it dry and not move and wait five minutes so i'm going to put some on my fingers and i'm going to do my best to tap it in and yeah, I'm, I'm concentrating because I, I don't know if you can even see, but I do have the eye bags. Um, you are supposed to not, this is supposed to be on clean skin, so I've taken a shower. I've not used any kind of oily eye cream. It's my naked eye, and that's what you're supposed to do. Just use your naked eye or you know not creams or anything that can inhibit this this reminds me very much of the tight eye and then you can go up you can go you know wherever your crow's feet are feet feet are you can use this on your 11s you can um which i'm not going to do today because i slept with my my um frownies on last night so when you sleep with frownies you're not going to have that you know i'm not going to have big 11s the next day so ba basically it's um i'm going to wait five minutes I'm gonna make sure i have this tapped in and tap it in here i don't feel anything yet this kind of very much reminds me of my tight eye uh you have tight eye, tight neck, tight face. I have the tight eye and the tight face. They also have one. Peter Thomas Roth also has one for the face. And you know, maybe I'll use that on my jowls. Um, I, I just didn't buy it. So I'm going to stop timing right now. I'm going to fan this to help it set. Because that's what you're, suppo you're supposed to let it set. And you're supposed to not move. So I'm trying not to move. But it's going to be the longest five minutes. But if it helps. Now, you know, no cream, no eye cream, no um, oily makeup remover or anything like that. Once it's dry after your five minutes, they say you can go ahead and apply makeup. Obviously, they say light makeup. So probably the more product you apply over this afterwards would... Um, loosen the effect or so to speak anyways the woman Molly and Fab and Glam when she sent it to me the woman on TikTok if I can find the video on TikTok I'll link it but if I can't I'm not going to enclose her video here because of the um, copyright issues I don't want to have any kind any kind of like flagging copywriting or plagiarize, plagiarizing or something of that nature copyright issues usually and um, I will then you know, I'll give you, I'll do a link if I can find it. Her results were absolutely dramatic, but she had very big eye bags to begin with, and she did it on one side of her face like I did, like I'm doing. And her results were just absolutely dramatic. Like I said, I don't have eye bags as bad as hers. I have eye bags, I have eye wrinkles, but I don't have eye bags as bad as, bad as hers were at all. So I don't expect to have such a huge dramatic effect that than she did, and I'm just fanning it. You know just to let it dry or help it dry anyways this is temporary eye tightener peter thomas roth instant firm eye and i would say if this if this if this works for me and i'm already feeling a tightening on my eye and it's been 
a um, little over a minute. Uh, I'm already feeling a tightening. If this works and I can put my makeup over it and it doesn't look hideous or, you know, when you smile, you're going to have your whole face crack, then this would be a great option for, say, a special occasion or um, if you're going out. I would, this would never be something for me for every day. It just wouldn't. But a special occasion, a wedding, because I have a wedding coming up, a special occasion, a wedding, stuff like that, I think it would be fantastic, you know, if it works. So this is going to be my test run. And then if this does for me um, what I'm hoping it does, two minutes, um, what, it, what I'm hoping it does, it, then I'm going to, you know, maybe I'll have my future daughter-in-law if she wants to try it. Because, you know, when you're the bride, sometimes you, you get, like the night before, maybe you have, like, um, anxiety or, you you know, who knows, right? You drink too much, party too much with your, you know, rehearsal dinner or whatever. Um, maybe this would be a great thing. I'll let her try it ahead of time. Because the one thing is you never want to try a new product or anything like that um, for the first time before a special event. Because if you have a reaction, you know what I mean? And you just never know. You could very well have a reaction and you don't know. So it's always best to do a trial run on anything like this. I'm feeling some amazing tightening. Let me see, I'm gonna take a peek. Oh my God. Can you guys see what I'm seeing? I have no idea what this is gonna look like in the camera, but oh my gosh. I, it's only, well, probably cause I'm fanning, it's helping it along but it's not fully dried yet. So I bought mine in Ulta. And again, this is the, it's an instant firm eye. If this, after I put makeup on, if this looks good, I'll do my other eye. Um, if my makeup looks good with it and all that, then this would be really cool because so far, and it, it's almost, I think I'm at four minutes now, um, so far, it's not that real horrific drying. Now I wish I had done it on my 11s. <laughs> I sleep with my frownies. I love my frownies. I've talked about those things. I put them on and, you know, and, and everyone says to me, well, is the frownies, uh, I perm, uh, you know, something that's permanent and it's not. It, it's also temporary. But what I think with the frownies is it does help train your muscles. And after a while, I think my frownies have helped my 11s become less prominent because my muscles are trained more and stronger, I think, because of the frownies preventing it. Of course, if I'm out in the sun and I'm wearing, I always wear sunglasses all the time, but if I'm out in the sun and I'm wearing sunglasses and all that stuff, right, and I squint, unless you have like super, super awesome sunglasses, you are going to have some squinting even in that natural sunlight like that. Um, and then you're going to get your 11s back, but nothing like they would be without my frownies. So I usually try to do my frownies every night. There's times I miss and I'm not really like gung-ho, like crazy. Oh, I don't get up in the middle of the night and forgot to put my frownie on. But you can also, and this is what I did when I went to uh, my stepson's wedding, when Jay and I flew to Atlanta, I stuck my frownies on. I went back to the room. I took my shower. I was getting ready for the wedding. And I knew I was going to be in the room for about an hour, an hour and a half. I just put my frownies on while I was getting ready. And it was like perfect. All right, five minutes. Do you guys see a difference? <laughs> I do. I do in this mirror. I can still see my bags, right? I still, I still have my bags, that's for sure but it is less prominent than this one. I wonder if I should have, I think you probably could go right up here to the crepey skin, but you're not supposed to put it on your movable. So I just, you saw, well, you saw what I did. So five minutes. Holy camoli. 
So I'm going to do the other side and um, I'll do my makeup and then I'll add to this. What do you think? Can you see a difference? Okay, so this is sort of like a, I don't even know if you want to call it a wear test or not, but I, I did do the second eye with the Peter Thomas Roth Temporary Eye Tightener. I put that on and I probably did not put on the equal amount between both eyes. It's really hard, I think, when you do two things and you wait a while and all that. But I did put it on um, and I let it dry and all that stuff. And then I went and I did my eye makeup. So I probably, because I'm an eye makeup messy applicant, you know, I apply it messy, I guess. Um, I probably would do all of my mascara, uh, and I probably would do all of my eyeshadow and my lower lash, then wipe off any residue with water, you know, and make sure my skin is clean. And then I would apply it. I would not apply this, me, before I do my eye makeup because any any fall off like say with mascara not fall off but smudgy so i usually go in with q-tip and i wipe right so i have to be super careful because i'm thinking i don't want to wipe this stuff off because i want to really see how it works so i would definitely do all my eye makeup first and then apply this and so what i did it was the opposite obviously that i i kind of like with a um a paddle brush i just um you know just kind of like wiped any any mess off from my eyeshadow i used my viseart eyeshadow for my which is like sort of an everyday look and that viseart um does not have a lot of fallout uh, there's other eyeshadows that i love that i use that has a ton of fallout and i'm always brushing the residue off so i chose the busy art because i wanted to have very little fallout to use on this and um and then i have i have my urban decay liner on and that's really about it so my eyeshadow just two colors on my lids very low key and then my urban decay liner which I absolutely love. And then I have uh, my my eyebrows. Just I use e.l.f. Um, I, use, I just use the e.l.f. Line, uh, eyebrow. And then I put my makeup on. And now, he, so here's the deal, right? So like it's, you, know, you said you can apply light makeup. I don't have any concealer on underneath my eyes. And I could use some concealer, but I don't have it on. I did put a little bit of my brightener and I use the... Um, the instant age rewind eraser but i use a really light color and i usually just dab it like on the insides here so i did put that on and then i tried to tap it in gently and then i i just have my sd lauder um my sd lauder and it's almost gone but i have my sd lauder on my face and then i i use my fingers to apply it and then lately i've been using a brush to dab it in more to make sure that i haven't you know any whatever so i i typically use my fingers to apply it and then i ended up using my color pop and i i did not use normally i use my smashbox contour i haven't contoured my face at all this is just sort of like you know fiddle fodding every day but i used my color pop blush and then I, I did a bronzer, just a bronzer all over and into my chest because I really literally have no color at all. And, and that's, that's, you know, that's what I have on. So it feels really good. I do see a difference between the two eyes. I don't know if whether you could, whether the camera would pick up on it or not, but I do see a difference between the two eyes because I know I did not apply as much on the second eye as I did when I did the first eye. But up close in my my five times magnifying glass I see a tiny bit is it five it might be ten I see a tiny bit of um, slight puckering maybe you know where my skin is really baggy I have very loose skin maybe if you just have puffies and you don't have all the loose crepey skin like I do you might never even see it or or have it I don't see it on the naked eye so when I look at the regular mirror I don't see it but when I look at my magnifying mirror I can see that little bit of um puckering slightly now i did not bring like i said my foundation or any concealer under my eyes and i definitely need a little bit of concealer but i brought my foundation 
you know, up around and under and, and all of that. And then it was really careful because normally I spray and I did use my dewy finish, but I didn't go near my eyes. I like my lower face. Didn't go near my eyes, didn't go near my forehead. Because I just want to see what this looks like. So, you know, I don't know. I mean, I definitely see a difference for sure. And at this point in time, by the time I finished getting ready, all of that stuff, and I've done a few different things, it's been on for about maybe two hours at this point in time. So if I go to a wedding and I apply this, so the wedding is at, you know, four or five o'clock or whatever time it is, and I apply this an hour or so before, I know I'm at least going to get through the ceremony and I'm not going to have any any, um, you know, cracky, cracky skin, <laughs> sounds weird, any cracky skin, I don't, I'm not going to have anything like that, so I, I, that to me is, is a good thing, um, so yeah, I'll let you know how it holds up the rest of the day, I don't know if I'll come back on, but yeah, I probably will, I'll let you know how it holds up the rest of the day, and give you my thoughts on it, final thoughts. So jumping in for a quick sort of like a summary or recap or whatever, it's been, oh gosh, over eight hours now that I've had this on and um, my, my thoughts are it's actually more comfortable for me to wear than the tie-dye was and it held up really good um, all day. I didn't feel that my bags came back. I didn't feel that my my crow's feet showed as much. I did feel, however, that a little bit of a dryness right here, and I probably would avoid the inner, more sensitive section of my eyes next time around, because where I see any kind of um, wrinkly, you know, crinkly, is right around there. That's where I'm seeing the dryness now. I could put a little bit of, you know, oil on my fingers and pat it in, and I know that it would probably give me the surge of moisture that I'm looking for there, but it would probably remove the effect of the, you know, the tightening. So um, if I was going to go to the wedding, like I said, if I was going to do anything super special, um, you know, and I was being interviewed by, you know, Channel 9 TV or something, I definitely would put this on. I saw a difference between my two eyes. I saw a difference um, even after I put my makeup on. And I already mentioned how I would put my eye makeup on first. That's just me. But I think this, without a coupon, um, at, at Ultra anyways, is 30, was $38 without a coupon. I think it's cheaper in Walmart. Again, it was sold out everywhere, but by the time you see this, who knows, maybe it'll be restocked. It You could probably find it on Amazon if you really wanted to, but for a special occasion, and if you have really big bags, I think you're gonna love how this would make you look. Now, I bought this, so um, I would recommend it. You know, I would recommend it. I wouldn't recommend it for every day, and I certainly won't be using it for me for every day. But for it to have held up over eight hours, and I think, you know, my, actually, I think my makeup still looks pretty good for, for eight hours, and I've been outside, I've been doing all sorts of different things. So for it to have held up that long, I think is pretty good for me. And so I like it. So that's my take on it. Um, if, you, if you are, like, at all concerned about bags and you have special occasion, this would be a perfect, perfect rescue. So yeah, I bag rescue. Temporary fix, Peter Thomas Roth. <laughs>